This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. In late January, for the first time, President Obama publicly confirmed the American use of drone strikes in tribal areas in Pakistan. He answered a question on the subject during a Google video conference with people around the United States. He said, I want to make sure that people understand that actually drones have not caused a huge number of civilian casualties. For the most part, they have been very precise, precision strikes against Al Qaeda and their affiliates. Debate continues about how many people, including civilians, have been killed in those drone attacks. Drones are technically known as unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. These aircraft, however, are not just used for airstrikes, and they are not just used by governments. Drones are useful for aerial photography, including industrial tasks like pipeline inspections. And human rights activists, environmental groups, and journalists are increasingly using drones in their work. Drones can fly above news events to capture images that reporters may not be able to get close to on the ground. Matt Wade is a journalism professor at the University of Nebraska, Lincoln. Students in his drone journalism lab are exploring different uses for drones in news reporting. He says, drone journalism as an idea is less than a year old at this point. The first instance I saw was a labor protest in Poland where a man had a remote controlled helicopter and he put a camera on it and he flew it up and got just a view of the protests from the air. And you could see police moving into position to kind of block the protest route. A video on YouTube shows images captured by the so-called robocopter. A group of citizen journalists in Moscow used a similar drone camera to record protests during Russian parliamentary elections. And Professor Waite noted a recent environmental case in the United States captured by someone flying his remote-controlled airplane. He spotted a meatpacking plant that was polluting a nearby creek that ran into a nearby river. He had images of a river of blood flowing out of this meatpacking plant which was against the law. And environmental regulatory authorities were alerted to it. Drone use in the United States is now rare because of federal restrictions on airspace. However, a new law calls for easing those restrictions by 2015. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.